The war is over. The Reapers have been defeated. Against all odds, and in the face of the greatest threat this galaxy has ever known, we survived. Our losses were innumerable, and it may take years to restore the relays. But today, we are alive. But for how long? Thank you, Admiral Hackett. This is Return to Uranus. I'm TGB. Gonna run through a couple things. A couple of tweets. That guy. You. Yeah, I am. And what that means moving forward, because if this doesn't go really, really well, it's gonna be an absolute shit show. So Bioware got themselves into another jam. What else is new, right? They've got to satisfy two different fan bases, Andromeda and the OG Trilogy. The problem is they're probably going to have to choose between one or the other. I don't see any way that you're going to be able to link these two galaxies now in a fashion that's going to satisfy both parties. That doesn't involve complete arse pulls, because if we're going through to 2819 and going back to Andromeda, that means all of the assumptions we've made are wrong. There won't be a canon ending. This is not destroy. Commander Shepard is dead. Everyone except Liara is irrelevant. There's no reason for Rex or Grunt to go to Andromeda unless you're talking about reconquering the Krogan. So where does that leave us? Uh, that puts us all the way back to where we started. Because we don't know what's going to happen with the Milky Way galaxy anymore. Other than the fact that Shepard is dead and we're probably going to get Mass Effect Andromeda 2, there's nothing really more to take from this year's N7 day. Which is frustrating. You know, there's a sense of dread, I think, in some people's minds because we don't want that game. Uh, in every poll I've seen put up between Shepard and Ryder, no matter who's put the poll up, Shepard always wins. Then there are some people who never played Andromeda to begin with. Uh, there are a lot of Andromeda fans who are really surprised at how good the original trilogy was. And a lot of people are surprised to see the Bioware are pushing forward with the Andromeda storyline, knowing that. So this is a huge risk, and it's being taken in the context of we don't know what's happening with Dragon Age, or whether or not Mass Effect will even continue if Dragon Age flops, which I kind of have the feeling that it will. There's a uh, general consensus that it's not going to be a good game, and... There's a danger that the meme could overtake the game anyway, even if it does come out in a really good condition. But let's jump over to some tweets. Now, this one in particular is the one I wanted to look at because it's it's got a lot written between the lines here. Basically, you're being told that this is going to take a really long time and that they hope you're going to stick it out with them. Not just because it's going to take a long time, but because they're prepared to lose people with this. They've had to sit down and say, we have to make a choice. And we're going to lose people either way. And I think they've decided which people that they're willing to lose, for good or bad. And yeah, that's going to involve sacrificing people like me, who religiously play the OT. Uh, people who still carry on like Shepard is the best in the world. They're not going to be too worried about losing the big media influences over this because they'll stick around for where their paychecks are. But in terms of the regular folks, the guys who are out here, you know, playing the games just because they really, really like them, we're going to have to stick to that same game because you're never going to get another installment of it again. So it's not the decision that I would have made, it's not the decision that most people would have made, and it's not even the decision that would make the most sense. I don't know why. They've made this choice, but it's a big risk compared to Shepard, who is, at this point, considered a shoe in by just about everyone. At the end of the day, I think Bioware have made a decision that probably isn't the best one for Bioware, but the best for Mass Effect that they think they can make for Mass Effect. Now, there's also a tweet which I think has been deleted. I couldn't find it anywhere, and I searched pretty hard for it, uh, where it was hinted that we might find out what happened to Shepard. What I think is going to happen, though, is they're going to tell us in retrospect... Uh, depending on our choices. So there'll be something similar to the Dragon Age Keep. So we're probably going to have our decisions reflected, you know, in conversation and things of that nature, which I don't think anybody really wanted. 
But look, at the end of the day, it's all still in pre-production anyway. And a lot of this is still, like I said earlier, depending on what happens with Dragon Age. So I can't really jump to conclusions, but it, it just doesn't feel right for me. And that's the end of the first episode. Pretty much it from me. I'm just going to ramble off on these and vent my frustrations or express some joy depending on what kind of news we get. Have fun out there, guys. Peace out.